So we've got a tab, right? So the first thing I'm going to show you is where to find this thing to download. If you type in Mission Planner, you'll go to Installing Mission Planner. Then you'll see this pop up. You're going to click the latest Mission Planner installer. It's going to give you a little download. You're going to click on that download once it's done downloading and it's going to walk you through the installation process. It will in the installation, it'll say things like downloading certain cookies and caches and things like that. You can say yes to all. It is all safe. Now I'm going to show you, we're going to open Mission Planner. I'm just going to introduce you to Mission Planner. So you open up Mission Planner and the first thing that you see when you open it up is this page here. Okay. You'll see yep. maps and you're with air spaces, flight spaces, and you'll see telemetry on your left hand side. This is the page that you want to be on when you're actually doing your flight. You get a separate page up here, which is next to it called the flight planner page. So your flight planner page, you're going to see on your right hand side, you've got a column here. This column is going to basically show you the commands you can do on your flight planner page. First thing you're going to do is you're going to change this from whatever it is currently on. You're going to change it to Google Hybrid Map. Mission Planner does not have a location search option. So we're going to use Google Earth for that. I'm going to show you how we take something from Google Earth and put it into Mission Planner. If you create a mission, you're going to save the file as whatever mission you want to save it as. Then if you want to load that same mission in at a later date, you just go load file. Once we've created a mission on this map system, we need to actually put it onto the memory of the drone. How do we do that? We write the mission onto the drone. Okay, if you want to remember the difference between read and write, writing is when you're putting something on the drone. Reading is when the drone is telling us something. So writing is as though you're writing something down onto the drone. And reading is as though the drone is responding to us, reading back what we've given it. These are the parameters that you set for your mission before you make your mission. Then as you make a mission, you'll have commands come up at the bottom here, which we will look at as well. Now setup is not something we need to worry about too much. Right now, we don't have much to look at anyways. Okay, setup is where you go to actually set up your drone, your equipment, things like that. Config is looking at your actual configuration of your drone. Config is where you're going to actually do the setting up. So you want to bring a video device in. Okay, you want to bring a, you see it's now connected my webcam. Um, you want to bring, you want to change video formats, enable speech. Uh, maybe you want to put a joystick. We leave it exactly as is, we don't touch it. Um, simulation purposes, right? Then if you go on to simulation, this is where you can actually see that you load the simulation in, right? You can choose plane, rover, multi-rotor, helicopter. We only use multi-rotor and then onto plane. I will show you how to do both of them. Help is just the page you come to if you can't understand things. It's also the page you come to if you want to look for an update or if this version isn't working, some people's computers just reject this version of the software. You can go to check for beta updates and the beta updates will probably download something new, which will work on your computer.